This augmented reality developer has a little over a year and a half of experience working in virtual and artificial industry. He's been named one of the top 10 VR influencers in 2018, <laughs> and he's just 15 years old. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 15 now. <laughs> I, and I thought I was young for this week. We feel old, man. <laughs> this is probably something Savaris Nianimorti is used to. But despite his age, his vision for the future of virtual and artificial reality knows no limits. Right now when we look at uh, virtual or augmented reality, we're thinking about gaming, marketing, or entertainment, and we aren't looking at how we can actually help a lot of people in the world and how we can really uh, solve some of the world's hardest problems. And I'm going about talking about cost of living, transportation, identity, inequality, and topics like that. He's one of a number of speakers at this year's Global Tech Summit being held in Vancouver. And not only is he the youngest presenter here, he's also the youngest person ever to be sponsored by Microsoft to develop virtual reality and augmented reality games and applications. And through that sponsorship, he's shaped a vision of a virtual world. For me, I live in Toronto and all the rest of my family, uh, like my grandparents, are all in India and I don't get to see them very often. And when you look at how I can do that in a virtual reality, I can get there in a split of a second and using haptic technology, I can feel like I'm in front of them. And that's really the power of this technology. Going beyond the video game for AR and VR is something BC's Innovation Commissioner sees as becoming commonplace. There's lots of applications for AR and VR. So as you look at not just video games, which is the area in animation we've always thought about, it's much more the fact that these technologies apply in forestry, mining, other areas like that where we can simulate and show what's going on in a very accurate way. Nanny Morty was accepted into one of the Knowledge Society's innovator programs for youth, which sparked his love for VR and AR. And although he tries to be a normal teenager, it's a lot to balance. When I'm in school, I'm mostly focusing on school, like focusing on friends and still being in that environment of actually being a kid and in high school, uh, still have homework, <laughs> still have all of that going on. So it's really just like once I get home, it goes into my VR AR mode where I'm all about my passion and then when I'm in school it's all around my friends and high school and being in that environment. And really, no matter what your age. Through technology like this, VR and AR pioneers are hoping we see the world a little bit differently. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.